Hi everyone, I'm Josh and I like wine. This month, we're talking about the heartbreak grape, Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir is a thin-skinned grape, light-bodied wines that are lightly textured, so more smooth and velvety as opposed to big and rough. And it's often hard to put the flavors of Pinot Noir into one sentence, but generally it has a very charming and aromatic red fruit profile. And at its best, you get these earthy tones as well, like mushroom, leather, and undergrowth. So think back to high school, if Cabernet Sauvignon was the jock, then Pinot Noir is kind of like that cool, artsy kid, they travel the world, has a really cool insta feed that you're jealous of. Cabernet Sauvignon is more Joan Crawford, while Pinot Noir is more Audrey Hepburn. Like, that's my Audrey Hepburn. So speaking of high school, where we were all at our prime, Pinot Noir kind of reminds me of your stereotypical moody teenager. It's very finicky, sometimes high maintenance and temperamental, demanding a certain climate and perfect conditions in order to perform at its best. So Pinot is grown in many regions around the world, but let's highlight four. Pinot arguably does its best in France's Burgundy, where that sort of structured red fruit meets that earthiness, wee oui, wee. Oui. In California, you get Pinots that are much fuller, richer, jammier. And then down in the south in New Zealand, we have fantastic new world Pinot Noirs as well with that kind of crisp acidity and that pure fruit. And then finally, Oregon is kind of like a middleman between the old world and the new world, combining that earthiness, fruit, and a bit of that herbaceousness as well. So that's all I have on Pinot this week. Stay tuned for next week's episode of Josh Likes Wine, where we do another live edition. Pinot Noir. Fast car. Travel far. Chocolate bar. I don't know, I'm done.